here is a little update. So I've been working my way down, pile up the top bricks um, to the lower layer. Actually, you can imagine how heavy those bricks are. I think each one of them weighs at least 60 pounds. They're definitely heavier than my kid. And you can tell I didn't move this guy because everything inside is all like uh, filled with silt or clay. It become really hard. And then we had a rainfall last night, like actually a big shower. I was, I was worried about all the soil I pile up on the top layer will get washed out. But luckily, it doesn't seem like a lot of being washed away. So I'm going to get a tool to start cutting back on this side and also removing the, the bottom two layers. Um, there's still quite a bit of work, to be honest. And I'm trying to memorize how these corners were made together. Because the reason why they made a little gap or just purposely opened up the gap on the side. So there's a slope gradually going this way and all the gravel is supposed to allow the water to flow inside of the bricks and then it will drain the water through this way. So this is the discharge of the entire retaining wall. So when I build a new one or rebuild it, it's going to be have a similar design, a similar function. All the gravels will be have an outlet or have an entrance like a little opening on this side so doing the same way yeah still have a lot to do another day passed I only worked maybe a couple hours a day so wasn't moving very fast um, you can see I removed the first layer of the of this retaining wall um, I started digging back by six inches I did have found a lot of like the small gravels behind the retaining wall so the, the builder actually did considering that and adding the, the gravel into it but unfortunately is when the soil dissolved or washed away by the rain it mixed up with the gravel so the gravel is no longer performing a drainage function so that's where the failure is I think so and you can tell here's my I want to show you guys how bad this Here's my torpedo level is. Here we go. Okay, so it's about like one inch up on the left. This shows how much of the angle this thing's sitting at. I need to dig all the way to the very bottom and to fix the foundation in order to fix that problem. Here's another update. This is the Wednesday morning when we started this project was like Sunday or Monday. So two, three days later, remove the top layer, start digging the second roll. Um, the more you dig, the more you find out those gravels are become very silty. So it's like mixed up with the, with the silt, especially in the corner, like it's all stuck together. You really have to work hard to break them apart. And uh, my headache is, uh, what am I gonna do with all those little gravels? So far, I've been collecting a brick at a time, put into the barrel or the bucket. And I take upstairs, I rinse it with the holes, try to wash them out like two, three times, and then collect them in that blue bag. Maybe I'll find a way to use them a little bit later. Well, so far I digged out the gravels from three to four of those bricks or the stones. And I have like quite a bit of already in this blue bag. That should be enough for me to do another tree, just do the mulch. And I'm gonna stop doing that because wasting too much time. I'm going to start to dig, dig up the gravels, pile up on the front line of it, because um, eventually it's going to build up the grades. Right now it's too much of a slope, so hopefully that's gonna help us to save some material to, to build up the elevation of the soil and uh, saving some time here. We did some work here, so quite a bit of the bricks is being moved out. So that was the bottom layer, and we actually found a drainage pipe in there. So that was more like a French drainage system. Perforated a pipe or hose was buried for draining water, but they didn't put any socks on top of it, or they didn't put uh, um, like a landscaping fabric around it. So the soil get on top of it, it plug it up, it doesn't drain any water anymore. And there was still quite a bit of a, actually gravel mixed up with the silt. Like I was spending a lot of time just trying to dig out of the center the hole of that brick because everything's so solid. Like if I try to go down here, I can't even dig anymore. You can see everything is a silt. It's mixed up with the, the gravel altogether. 
it's all very muddy and it doesn't drink any water anymore so that's where the failure was it got frozen and pushed out and we're thinking maybe we can reuse the, the pipe after depends on the condition of it and uh, yeah and we'll be keep moving towards that tree I trimmed the tree down a bit in the corner so make some room so I can work around it yeah let's keep going With the help from my father-in-law, we started making a lot of progress. He actually helped me remove a lot of the second layer of the, the bricks, and then we started digging the bottom layer or the bottom row of the retaining wall. Those are very heavy and uh, deeply buried inside the soil, so we have to dig them out like a piece by piece. It's quite a bit of work. Every piece of the brick has the center portion was very heavily built up with the silt or clay with the gravels so we have to chisel them out or just keep pushing with a sharp object to like loosen them up and finally we can free them up and uh, that's a lot of time spent just cleaning up the center portion of the bricks. It's funny that I started to wear my steel toe boots this afternoon and it saved my toe a couple times when I was handling the heavy bricks. It was funny that before today, I was all wearing my sneakers. I never thought about it. I started wearing the, the steel toes. And finally, I started to wear it and I saved my toes. I have ordered a couple cubic yard on the three quarter inch washed gravel. Those are the one designed for drainage or foundation. They should be showing up in a couple days or before the weekend or maybe during the weekend. That's it for the part two. I'll see you guys in the next update.